Welcome back to the Pictou County Wellness Center for this afternoon game in the MMFHL between the ESDA East Moncton Subaru Rockets and the Northern Subway Selects. Welcome to everybody just joining us on YouTube. Not too much happening in the first period. One penalty is the only scoring play on the sheet. And that, of course, was a penalty to Madison Wasilius of the Moncton Subaru Rockets. Uh, she took a body contact penalty at 9 08. That penalty was killed off. Shots in the first period, 10 to 2 in favor of the Selects. However, no goals yet to be put on the board. We saw some great play, though, by a lot of players uh, from both teams, of course, from the Moncton Subaru Rockets, a notable player as she usually is, Monica Richard. Not only did she create a lot of opportunities, she has both of the shots for Moncton. And Monica, of course, uh, plays a lot like uh, Sarah Frazier does from the Subway Selects in terms of they can move the puck very well out of their own zone, but also not afraid to carry that puck up the ice and try to create uh, scoring opportunities. Uh, she is on pace to shatter all of her season bests. Already nine games in, she's got four points. Last year, she played 22 games and only amassed seven points. So statistically, she's on a good pace there. Of course, uh, when you look at some other players for Moncton, also having a good game in that period was Julie Cormier, of course, plays with Richard, sometimes on the defensive end. Uh, Bridget Hughes, also great on uh, on her end of the ice, which uh, is, uh, I believe, a partnership with Alex Purdy in the defensive end. And Brooke O'Brien also played a great first period, making 10 saves, a couple of them uh, off of tipped pucks in front of her net which uh, created scoring opportunities, but O'Brien there to shut the door. She had a very good first period. On the other side, the Northern Subway selects. Uh, you've got to give it to Gabby Arsenault. You know, it's hard to play um, the 17 minutes of hockey before you get your first shot, but she got two very tough ones there at the end of the period, and she made both saves. Of course, Sarah Frazier being a big part of this game. Bree McPherson making a lot of of defensive plays but again the line that is is used to creating havoc is creating havoc kendall doiron uh is uh one of those players but i'm more talking about the line of olivia marks brooke or, or brooke thompson pardon me and uh brooke williams however jenna beaton has also been on the offensive end quite a few times this game the officials are on the ice getting the nets in place. The folks in the booth, the Billies, are uh, <laughs> getting the score clock ready. And we are ready, steady, and raring to go here for the second period. 0-0. Zero, zero. As Gabby Arsenault, the first player on the ice for the Northern Selects. You see her skating across your screen. Your screen. And this is the best period in my opinion especially when you have benches the way you do here i'll show you them really quick as you notice the bench now for the selects is in their offensive zone and the bench for the rocket is in their offensive zone so if you are able to maintain a cycle you can do a lot of quick changes and keep that momentum because the defense have to skate all the way down to the other end of the ice to get their change in as you see Brooke O'Brien skating across your screen now, going to her spot between the posts. Lots of fans here from both teams. Of course, the Moncton faithful traveling in as they support their team. And the Selects fans really just woke up, got themselves a double-double and ripped on over to the Wellness Center for an afternoon game of hockey. And it looks like we are already steady and raring to go. Richard Hughes Goslin. Melanie Richard. And Carolyn Gallant starting for Moncton. You've got the... Aaron McNeil line on the ice for the Subway Selects. And here we go. Moncton wins that faceoff clean, and they will carry that puck. A beautiful play there as they get the puck into the select zone. That one ripped behind the net. Great play by Gallant stepping up and keeping that puck alive. 
Richard tipping in from her defensive spot and poking that behind the net. Wraparound attempt, big save there by Arsenal. As she gets challenged early on in this period. But there's a nice pass to herself. It's Aaron McNeil can't get around Richard, who ends up picking up the puck. Reverses and leaves that one there. And she gets it back. Richard still with the puck. We mentioned in the intermission how she can skate and create plays with her feet, and she did it right there. Here's an opportunity for Brooke Thompson. Brooke Thompson with a shot. That one off the stick of Lola Bootlier. And up and out of play. Just over a minute gone in the second period. Only one shot registered, and that was to Moncton. Their third shot of the game. Face off to the left of O'Brien. Kendall Doyron taking the draw for the selects. She loses it. As a big face-off win by the Rockets. Centering pass there. That puck is loose. O'Brien made a nice save. And then lost sight of it as a few sticks were in the crease trying to stir up a little trouble. However, the officials blew the whistle. And we will have a face-off just to the right now of O'Brien. Oh, no, now they're moving it to the left. Taking the faceoff for Moncton, number 22, Natalie Hebert, going up against Doyron. Doyron wins it, and that puck right to the blue line. There's a shot, that one up high, big save by O'Brien, but most importantly, no rebound. It's harder than you think to catch those pucks in your gear, especially when you're standing up. But O'Brien did it there, her 12th save of the night. Same players on the faceoff dot. Doyron going up against a bear. One again by the selects down to the blue line. That puck fired and around the net. Couple of sticks in on it. The selects do dig it out, but it's scooped up by Deverens. And she's able to get that puck out of her own end and into the select zone. There's Doyron with it on the point. Doyron with a nice pass. There's a shot just wide as Brooke Thompson let the laser go. Turnover again. Nice play into the corner by Olivia Marks. Giving chase is Brooke Williams. The puck bounces up in the air there. Held in for a moment by Ellie Clark. She gets bumped off the puck by Cormier. Clark goes down, but the puck goes right back to her. Centering pass there. Handcuffed uh, Lacey Boyd a bit. And she wasn't able to keep control of that. Lacey Boyd comes back in and is able to dig that puck out. Nice pass back to Frazier. Frazier will shoot. That one through traffic off a of body, up and out of play. As Lacey Boyd had a rough period, she took a puck in the knees trying to keep it in and then took another one up high and deflected that one out of play. 17.37 left to go in the second period. No goals in the game. Shots, however, 12 to three in favor of the selects. Moncton wins the draw, but it's tied up, centering pass, and boy, just missed a good opportunity. The Rocket now with it in her own end, trying to make something happen is Carolyn Gallant. She makes a nice pass around the crease, or pardon me, around the back of her net, and Moncton comes back out. Here's an opportunity for Moncton. Streaking in there was Melanie Richard. She can't pull the trigger. And the selects will take that away momentarily. Back to Richard. She shoots that one off the shoulder of Gabby Arsenault, who just shrugged that one to the corner. Back out to the point and fired in by Carolyn Gallant. As Moncton still maintaining good pressure. However, the selects do get it up and out. Scooped up there by Groundwater. Nice initial pass. Moncton. Had a couple of good passes trying to get it out. Selects had to tag up, unable to do so, and offside is the call. And we'll have a face-off just outside of the Moncton zone. Face-off tied up there. Moncton does get it. That pass broken up. 
once, twice, and thrice as McPherson will rip that one down into the Rockets' end. Giving chase is Bootlier. She's being harassed by Jenna Beaton. And a turnover ensues. There's a shot stick to the corner there by O'Brien. Puck off the boards. Doesn't make it out of the zone. Goes back to McPherson. McPherson with a shot. That one right into the glove. And save there by O'Brien. 16.04 left to go in the period. Face-off is Natalie Hebert. She loses the puck. It's tied up, picked up by the Selects player, and that one was a good scoring opportunity, but another great defensive play by the Moncton Rockets, making sure those sticks are tied up so the Selects can't pull a trigger in the slot. There's a shot off the glass. McPherson holds it in, however. Back up those same boards. McPherson holds it in for a moment. Helped out there a little bit by Kendall Doyron, pardon me, by Jenna Beaton. But that puck eventually does go out. And we will have another face-off just outside of the Rocket Zone. Shots now 14-4. to The game, however, has been a little bit closer than the shots would indicate. As the Rockets win the face-off clean, but it goes all the way back into their zone. Olivia Marks giving chase. And the puck is held in by Brooke Thompson. Momentarily anyway, that gets out. There's an interception and a good opportunity for Moncton. Here's a chance for a shot. It's taken big save by Gabby Arsenault. As coming in with speed along the wing was Melanie Richard. Puck still in the select zone. Great play there, reversing ice just to tap that out. And here's an opportunity for Brooke Thompson. Nice poke check there by the Moncton defender. That's Carolyn Gallant making the play. What a move! Backhand and a big save by O'Brien as Kendall Doyron goes inside, outside, and tried a little backhander. But the Rockets goalie stood tall and no rebound to be had. Face off now to the left of O'Brien. 14.52 left in the second period. Quite a few whistles early on here as the faceoff is won. And the Moncton Rocket now have it. Turned over there and the selects try to get that out front. Brooke Williams made a nice play and another nice play. Brooke Williams versus the world there in the corner. As another selects player comes in to help her out. Centering pass there, thought twice. And the puck will go back to the D. That one shot right into traffic, rebound, nice save by O'Brien. That might have hit the post as well, I'm not sure. Regardless, O'Brien was in position. Puck back behind the net, Julie Cormier trying to do something with it. Williams picked it off. There's a pass, gets by Frazier, and here's an opportunity. Coming down the ice is April Williams. Williams gets broken up with a nice back check by Sarah Frazier. And here comes Frazier after the turnover with speed. Frazier going wide, cutting into the inside. Quick shot, just misses the net. Sarah Frazier absolutely torching the defense with her speed as Moncton tries to make a play with the same mindset. Busting in is Madison Basilius. She turns the puck over. Great play there by Julia McDonald. And another good opportunity. Poked forward, again with speed, coming down the ice, it's Kenzie Greencorn. Kenzie behind the net. Kenzie will turn back and then throw that to the point. Bree McPherson with a shot, that one through traffic, it's in the net! Bree McPherson with a beautiful pass. She gets it and fires a wrist shot over O'Brien, one nothing, Subway selects. That goal coming at 6.34. Sorry, 6.44. McPherson gets the goal. We will update you on the assists momentarily. O'Brien has been fantastic in that one with the crowd in front.
So Green Corn gets the assist. Also with the assist is Julia McDonald. As Moncton tries to get that back in, here's an opportunity. The pocket was picked. It's a breakaway. In tight, big save by O'Brien. Absolutely robbing Jenna Beaton on a great scoring attempt. Pay, pace is picking up here in the second period as a couple of players go down there. And we're going to have a tripping penalty against the selects. Sorry, an interference penalty. And that penalty is going against Josie Dunn. Penalty coming at 7.35, done for interference. So right after that goal, the Moncton Subaru Rocket are gonna have an opportunity to tie the game on the power play. Their first power play of the night. Face off is tied up there. And the selects get it to the blue line and out. The Rockets off the boards and down into the select zone. Puck to the blue line, can't hold it, is Julie Cormier. And she'll go for a skate before handing it off to her D partner. Puck comes back in for Emily Bootlier. Emily can't get it in and that one is shot down the ice. A great defensive play there by Sarah Frazier. 120 left to go on the power play. 143 left to go in the period. 1-0 selects. Goal coming moments ago by Bree McPherson. Assisted by Julia McDonald and Kenzie Greencorn. And again, the Rocket can't get possession. And that one fired right in on O'Brien, who plays that with the paddle. And Bridget Hughes will pick it up. Bridget Hughes can skate as well. She decides to pass it to Richard, who can also fly. But Richard turns that puck over. And a great play there by Brooke Williams to get it in deep. 41 seconds left to go in the power play. 11.04 left to go in the period. And that one cleared to the line, and Williams will have that. Knocked off her stick. And here comes Richard to the blue line anyway. And then another great pinch by the selects, able to send that one back into the rocket zone. Turning around there is Richard, Madeline Richard. Picked up now by Bootlier. That's Lola Bootlier. And she gets knocked off the puck. As a couple of players go down in the corner, that's a great effort there by Karis Ross. Puck is still loose, four seconds left to go on the power play. Out of the box comes Josie Dunn and she gets the pass. Here's an opportunity for Dunn. Quick shot, that one high. Blocker side. Frazier with it. Can't hold on. We have another power, power play coming up. It is going to be a roughing call. And it's going to go to number 13 for Moncton. Jolene Gosling going to the box. Or Goslin in English. I'm not sure how she pronounces it. I apologize if it's, if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly and that puck will be fired down the ice immediately by Moncton. Little collision there behind the net. Gabby Arsenault and the defender. Puck now back to the selects as they try to move it up the ice. Time of the penalty, 9.47. Gosselin for roughing. As Moncton will clear that one back down the ice. Gabby Arsenault plays it there for Grace McDougal, who fires that one up. Couple of players go down. Moncton turns it over. However, they can't clear the zone. Held in very well by Kenzie Greencorn, who leaves it for Julia McDonald. McDonald back to the blue line to Kenzie Greencorn. Greencorn with a nice move. Back behind the net to the blue line. Here's a shot through traffic tipped in front of the net, but that one goes wide. As it selects with still 47 seconds left to go. Sarah Frazier with a nice move. Frazier walks in shot. Big save by O'Brien, who makes her 20th save of the night. 
However, the shot did not go on the shot clock, but it, it was a save. I, <laughs> I'm sure of it. I saw it with my own eyes. As we'll do that face off to the left of O'Brien with 43 seconds left to go in the power play. Penalty to Gosselin, two minutes for roughing. One by the selects. McPherson's got a goal in this game. There's an opportunity for Brooke, skates in, shot. That went off a defender, but a good chance there by Brooke Thompson. Now it's back to McPherson. McPherson scored the only goal in this game. There's a pass down low. Olivia Marks with it. Marks back to McPherson. McPherson shoots high. That one just over the crossbar. Brooke Thompson gives chase. 16 seconds left to go in the power play. Great play by Moncton, and here we go. It's a two-on-one if they hurry. Moncton over the blue line, but a great for, uh, back check again by Sarah Frazier. Breaks up that play, and Sarah Frazier has it again. The speed down the ice, going wide. Will she cut in front of the net? Sarah Frazier with a pass, big save by O'Brien. Oh my, oh my. Sarah Frazier set up a play, but O'Brien read it like a book and came across the crease to make a wicked save. Power play is over. We're back at even Stevens. Here's a nice pass. Opportunity for Olivia Marks breaking into the zone. Marks curls back. Checked there by the Moncton defender. Two Moncton players on Marks. That puck able to get to the blue line and out. Great opportunity there by Marks, broken up by Emily Bootlier. Circling back, the select still with it. There's a nice lead pass tipped into the zone by Ellie Clark. Oh, just took a weird bounce and went right by the net as O'Brien was a little shaken by that weird bounce. Moncton is able to get possession though and get the puck up and out of their own end. Here's an opportunity coming in quick is Emily Bootlier, but that puck is taken off her, bounces off the official and goes right back in the select zone. 7.05 left to go in the second period. 1-0 Subway selects on a goal by Bree McPherson. 6.49 into the period. And that'll be icing and we will go all the way back into the select zone and redo that draw. Face off to the left of Arsenault. The officials are kicking Melanie Richard out of the face off circle. Instead, she is replaced by Carolyn Gallant. Gallant goes right to the net. As Moncton shoots, that one off a stick, and Arsenault will paddle that one into the corner. Gallant still with it. She can't come up with it. And now. The selects will carry that puck up. A collision there in center ice. But the subway selects able to now dump that puck in the zone. Here's an opportunity. Cutting in front of the net there was Lily LeBlanc. Lily takes a little bump there by the Moncton player. As Richard tries to get it out. But LeBlanc will fire that one back in behind the net. Picked up now by Hughes. Hughes again with the four check. Centering pass to nobody, but Gallant will pick that up and start a rush the other way. Gallant to the red line, dumping that in on Gabby Arsenault, and Gabby will hold that on for a faceoff. 6.08 left to go in the period. Shots now 20 to 6 in favor of the selects, as O'Brien is having herself one incredible night, making 19 saves so far for the SD East Moncton Subaru Rocket. Moncton with an opportunity again. Nice stick check there by Julia McDonald. Sarah Frazier getting that the blue line, but not out. Shot in there and a big save by Arsenal, who came out of her net to slow things down a little bit. And we will have another faceoff to her right. 5.54 left to go in the period. Face-off is tied up, and Sarah Frazier has it now with a nice pass out to Aaron McNeil. Aaron carries it over the blue line, but loses it. Now going the other way is Madison Wasilius. Wasilius unable to get that away from Frazier, who makes an absolutely incredible play 
And here come the selects. Lead pass. Are we going to see another one right in front of the net? Almost, but broken up there very well by Alex Purdy. Back to the blue line. McPherson can't handle that cleanly. And it'll be picked up there by Grace McDougal. And she will circle back. McDougal to McPherson. McPherson can't find her target as that one skips over the stick of Jenna Beaton. Moncton now with it. Puck moved back into the select zone with five minutes left to go in the second period. And that one fired off the boards, held in by Moncton. Great pinching play by Lola Bootlier. And to the blue line. There's a shot off a stick. That one high goes right back to the Rockets player. A little saucer pass misses Richard on the opposite side of the ice. And the selects will have that one behind their net. Passes to Brooke Thompson. Thompson with a nice little backhand sauce pass. That one picked off again. A great defensive play by Emily Bootlier, who has held that line quite a few times so far this game. McPherson with it. That one off a couple of skates and sticks and down the ice. Icing waved off. 4-12 left to go in the period. It's a contested play now in the corner. Few players are battling for it. Picked up there by Brooke Williams, and she gets possession. Williams tries to make a nice move around the defense, but an even nicer play by Lola Bootlier, breaking up that scoring opportunity. Here's Olivia Marks. Olivia Marks shoots high, rebound, drops low, as O'Brien makes a good save. Puck still behind the net. Julia McDonald has it. Brooke Williams now. Williams. Can't keep the puck in, and that one jumps past the stick of Josie Dunn. Giving chase is Carolyn Gallant, and she will forecheck a little bit. 3.25 left to go here in the first period. Well, giveaway there in her own end. As the Subway Selects will jump out, that puck takes a weird bounce off the boards as Lacey Boyd tried to break out. There's a turnover centering pass, can't find McDonald. Great stick play there by the Moncton defender as Melody Richard breaks up a scoring opportunity. The Selects and Moncton playing a little ping pong at their own end. Here's an opportunity, two on one. Shot, big paddle save there by O'Brien. Puck now behind the net, comes right in front. Doesn't make it to the goal and it's scooped up by Deverens. And she dumps it down the ice. We have a whistle on the play. I'm not too sure what that is. Looks like it's icing, though, as the players are skating down the other end of the ice. Shots 22-7 in favor of the select. Score only 1-0, as we still have 2.37 left to go in the second period. Face off one by the Selects. That pass goes off a of body and towards the net. And here's a good opportunity as Deverens breaks out with it. Sarah Frazier skillfully lifts her stick and steals the puck away. Frazier then gives it away. And a collision there in the corner. You saw that one on the camera. No call on the play. Puck forward slapped off the boards there by the Moncton defender and the puck comes right back to her as Alex Purdy has it now behind her own net. Alex Purdy fans on that, Thompson carries that away, but Alex Purdy makes a great defensive play after she gave that puck away, redeemed herself for sure, and prevents Brooke Thompson from getting a shot away and keeping this game a one-score hockey game. Face off picked up there by Richard who puts that one off the glass. Selects able to keep it in. That puck is up in the air. Richard can't catch that but is able to bat the puck into the sideboards. Puck tied up there for a moment. Icing is the call. Nope, the official put her hand down. And we'll play on. 1.30 left to go in the period. Brooke Thompson with the lead pass. Thompson. Great defensive play again there by number 12, Alex Purdy. Centering pass broken up by, yep, you guessed it, Alex Purdy. Back behind the net, Olivia Marks. 
can't dance around Richard. Who makes a nice play off the boards, but it goes to McPherson. McPherson with a shot, that one gloved by O'Brien. 22nd save of the night by O'Brien. 106 left to go here in the second period, pardon me. 1-0 selects. Goal earlier on in this period by Bree McPherson. Assisted by Julia McDonald and Kenzie Greencorn. A wrister from the point is what beat O'Brien with a lot of traffic in front, I may add. And here comes Moncton. An opportunity to move the puck up the ice. Gets to the red line. Nice play there by Julia Cormier. And she tries to bust in through the D, but... Falls down and the puck goes to the blue line. Skips over the stick of Bridget Hughes. And Moncton will have to regroup. Gallant can't make a play. Puck is turned over there as a few selects with it. Nice deek on the play. Creating a scoring opportunity. Big shot to save by O'Brien. A great play there by Ellie Clark. But O'Brien with a better one to make that save. Puck back to the blue line. Kenzie Greencorn comes off the bench and pinches that one behind the net. Ten seconds left to go in the period. Nice shot. That one deflected off the stick of Richard. That was Melanie Richard. And the time will tick off the clock, and that'll do it for the second period. An entertaining second period. Started out with a very neutral zone heavy game and turned into a lot of chances on either side. We started out the period with a goal. Six minutes and 49 seconds in, scored by Bree McPherson, assisted by Julia McDonald and Kenzie Greencorn. And then we had a penalty, a roughing call against Jolene Goslin at 9.47. They were able to kill that penalty off. And then on the other side of things, it was Josie Dunn taking an interference call. And again, that penalty was killed off. So as we go into the third period here, we're going to have a flood. The Zamboni's going to fly around the ice. And we'd love for you to join us for the third period here at the MMFHL Under-18 action between the Edza East Moncton Subaru Rocket and the Northern Subway selects. We'll see you then.
Welcome back to the Pictou County Wellness Center as we get ready for the third period of action between the Edza East Moncton Subaru Rocket and the home team, the Northern Subway Selects. Coming into this third period, only a one goal game. Lots of opportunities in both ends of the ice. The shots are a little bit tilted in one direction, but that doesn't tell the whole story. As we come into the third, shots that period in favor of the Selects, 14 to five over the Moncton Rocket. Overall, Subway Selects hold a 24 to seven shot lead. Only goal of the game was scored by Bree McPherson on a wrist shot from the blue line through traffic that beat O'Brien high. Assisted on that play from Julia McDonald and Kenzie Greencorn. Two penalties that period, both of them killed off. First penalty was a uh, interference call. That one was against Josie Dunn. And the second one was a Rockets roughing call that went to jo Jolene Goslin. That one also killed off. Goaltenders are back in between their creases, although one of them doesn't have a net. Gabby Arsenault <laughs> waiting for the officials to pull that net off and put it into place. Nets for this game uh, connected by pegs. Sometimes you see the magnets. They've got the holes drilled for this game, which keeps the game going quite a bit as those magnets tend to uh, leave the net with the ability to move off the slightest bump. We've seen in previous games, not at this rink, where goaltenders have tried to push off the post and in doing that, kick the net off. Of course, an accidental thing nonetheless, but it still slows the game down. And there is the whistle to begin the third period. Taking the opening draw for the Rocket, it is Melanie Richard going up against Grace McDougal. Pardon me, that wasn't Grace McDougal, that was Brooke Williams. And here come the Rocket, it's Goslin trying to bust into the select zone. Bumps into a couple of selects players. Goslin has it now. Goslin with a shot, that one just wide. And the selects will recover. Here's a lead pass intended for Williams off the blade of her stick and then dumped back in the zone by the by Moncton. And that pass misses everybody as the fresh ice will slide that one all the way back behind O'Brien. And we will jump back into the select zone for a faceoff to the right of Arsenault, who has been wonderful this game. She's made a couple of big saves. Face off there, won by the Selects. And they will reverse ice. However, the puck is turned over there as Williams comes into the corner. And the Selects will have to go back behind their net and try to regroup again. McPherson turns away. Williams, though, with a nice play, taking the puck off the stick of McPherson. And here comes the other Williams, Brooke Williams. As she passes it to Lacey Boyd, who rushes into the Moncton zone. Wholesale change by the Selects, but they turn it over and a great play there by Julia Cormier to get that puck out to center ice. However, the Selects will get it and fire it right back in. 18.37 left to go in the third period. One nothing Selects lead. Shots 24 favor, in, uh, 24 to seven, pardon me, in favor of those Selects. A great play by Brooke Thompson as she keeps the puck alive momentarily. Taken down by Alex Purdy. Puck to the blue line, high shot. O'Brien makes a save, but the puck dangerously bounces in front of her and is carried back out by Moncton. They're able to get it into the zone. Icing waved off by the official. And the selects will try to reverse course. Held in there by Richard as she gets it in deep. Now it's Lily LeBlanc with it. Lily's being pressured by Natalie Hebert. 
What a great play, puck in front of the net. Great save by Arsenal, rebound, it's loose. Another shot in front of the net, the puck is still loose and Arsenal tries to cover. And finally, the whistle is blown as Gabby Arsenal was showing us her best Dominic Hasek impression, able to keep that puck out. And a credit as well to those defenders, but a good scoring opportunity created by Moncton just by getting the puck on the net. You never know how that disc is gonna bounce. In this way, it bounced Moncton's favor and they had an opportunity to put it in the back of the net, but Gabby Arsenault came up big. Face off one by Moncton to Richard. Richard walks the line and a shot. That one through traffic and wide. Picked up now by the selects. Pass forward through the feet there of Richard, but she's still able to make a nice play. Puck contested there in the corner. Gosselin picks it up, but the Slacks are able to maintain possession. Here's Frazier. Frazier can't carry that over the line. And an offside call on the play as Julia McDonald thought Frazier was already in the zone, but Sarah had to turn back and try to re-enter, causing a whistle and a face-off to come just outside of the rocket end. Seventeen twenty-one left to go. And the Selects win that face-off. It's Karis Ross who fires that one in behind O'Brien. Going back to get that is Bridget Hughes. Hughes is, Hughes, pardon me, is contested there by a couple of Selects players. And McDonald able to pull that puck out. Julia McDonald with it now. Back behind the net. Here's an opportunity with a pass. Shot goes off a couple of sticks and skates. And eventually to the stick of Jaden Groundwater. And she's able to get it up into the select zone momentarily before they turn it over. Here's an opportunity coming down with speed. Ellie Clark. Ellie Clark with a shot. Big save by O'Brien. Puck is loose. And Clark is able to shovel that one into the back of the net for a 2-0 selects lead. Ellie Clark would not be stopped. She had a great first opportunity. O'Brien made the save and then the puck bounced right into the crease. And Clark was able to shovel that one home for a 2-0 selects lead. Goal coming at 3.18 into the period. Ellie Clark makes it 2-0 for the selects. For Ellie Clark, that is her second goal of the season and her fifth point. As the selects are on it again. That pass to the blue line does make it out. And we'll send it to Billy for the call. They gave the goal to Frazier. It very well could have been Frazier. I thought it was Clark, but the referee would have seen that better than I would have. With all these jersey tucks in the league, it's hard to see those numbers sometimes. Regardless, it was a great goal by Frazier. As the selects pick it up again. Over the blue line. Great play there, who I believe is Lily LeBlanc breaking in. Gets that puck taken off her stick. If that was, in fact, Sarah Frazier with the goal, it very well could have been. Goal coming at 318, unassisted. And we're just pulling up the stats here now for Sarah Frazier, who has had a great season so far. As a select centering pass, that one shot on net as Brooke Thompson had a good opportunity. The selects are still battling for it. Thompson with a centering pass, O'Brien with another save. Puck is still loose in there. So Olivia Marks gives Gosselin a little slash and makes a nice pass back to Marks who shoots. That puck flies through the blue paint and wide. Marks deflects that in front of the net again. Here's an opportunity, quick shot. Big block by Moncton. Another shot, that one makes it through and O'Brien will stop that. If it was Sarah Frazier's goal, that would be her first of the year. But for the meantime, I'm still going to give it to Ellie Clark. 
Face off to the right of O'Brien. Selects control again. Sarah Frazier misses that pass. And now she gets it. Frazier passes it to Karis Ross, who misses her target. And the puck goes all the way down the ice. And we will have an icing call going to have the face off to the left of Gabby Arsenault. Gabby playing tonight as Burroughs played last night against the Penguins in a winning effort. And Gabby's playing very well tonight. So is O'Brien on the other end. Puck now corralled by the selects as they try to get it out of the zone. A little collision, there are a few players bang into the boards. As that pass goes to Richard. Richard off the glass and down behind Arsenault, giving chase is Karis Ross. Ross will reverse ice behind her own net, giving it to Sarah Frazier. Frazier tries to make a lead pass. That one broken up by a couple sticks. And now here's a good opportunity. Breaking over the blue line. Nice effort there by the defender as Aaron McNeil was trying to streak in. But Alex Purdy shut that down. Shot in from the blue line. Pinching in there to knock it around the boards is Grace McDougal. Puck goes right in front of the net, but is corralled there by Moncton. And they will tap it out of their own zone. 13.30 left to go in the period. 2-0 selects. Most recently a goal by... Ellie Clark gave the Selects a two-goal lead. Puck has bounced off the boards, now behind the net. Slapped around the boards. Held in there by Wasilius. But that puck is blocked on the way to the net as a shooting opportunity by Bear. It is Ellie Clark with the puck now. Clark sends it down low. Quick shot, big save by O'Brien. Rebound off the side of the net as Lacey Boyd had a good opportunity. Here's a shot by Lily LeBlanc. Goes wide. Puck almost bounces out to Julia McDonald, but she still corrals it. Centering pass, quick shot. Another big save by O'Brien as the puck comes to the blue line right to Josie Dunn. Dunn with a shot, and that one goes right into the arm of O'Brien, who makes her 30th save of the night. 12.29 left to go in the third period. 2-0 selects lead. Selects have already eight shots in the first six minutes of this period. There's Richard. Off the boards. Carolyn Gallant's with it. Gallant chips it up. Now it's a race for it. Richard giving chase. For the selects, a nice defensive play there by Josie Dunn. Here's an opportunity. It's Olivia Marks on a breakaway. Olivia Marks shoots, big save by O'Brien. Another save by Brooke O'Brien, who has been incredible tonight. This one off, Olivia Marks. Here's another opportunity trying to streak in. Couple of sticks in the way. And Moncton is able to ice that puck and we will go all the way back down and have a draw to the right of O'Brien. And Olivia Marks, when you see somebody on a breakaway in front of you who has 19 points in eight games, it can be a little intimidating, but Brooke O'Brien did exactly what she does best. She stood her ground, top of the crease. They made a nice save to keep Moncton in this game. Faceoff tied up, but the selects give, get possession. Frazier couldn't hold it in, and she will take it and circle back, being pressured there by Gallant. And here's an opportunity. It's McDonald. McDonald with the pass there to Kenzie Greencore, and she can't handle it to the blue line. Tripped up on the play, and Moncton has an opportunity. Here comes Emily Bootlier. Emily tries to break in past the defense, but Sarah Frazier makes an incredible play. The pass, however, just misses McDonald, who is streaking through the zone. Sarah Frazier. Emily Bootlier tried a fancy little between the legs, Deke, which, I mean, it looks nice, but it's not going to work against Sarah Frazier, especially on a one-on-one -on -one situation when you're so tight to the defender. But you can't harp on her for trying. 
as she was looking to spark her team with that. Puck is now chipped up. Julia McDonald can't get it out. Kenzie Greencorn gets knocked down. And Moncton will corral it again. Julia Cormier off the boards. Sarah Fraser will give chase. However, it looks like we're going to have another icing call with 10.51 left to go in the period. And we will go all the way back down the ice and drop that puck again. Face off to the right of O'Brien, one. Here's McPherson with a shot, big save by O'Brien. McPherson loves to shoot those pucks in. Can you blame her? When you've got traffic in front of the net and a shot like she does, only good things are going to come out of it. And that one, a big save by Brooke O'Brien who has now made 32 on the night. Face off one, McPherson with it again. McPherson making space, pass in front of the net. That one deflected towards the goal by Jenna Beaton. However, it is cleared wide. McPherson pinches in. She takes that puck, reverses down the boards, throws it there for McDonald. McDonald gets the puck taking off her. Lead pass just misses with Silius. As a selects turn back. Here's an opportunity. As the puck floats in towards Lacey Boyd. Slapped around the boards now as Moncton tries to get it out, but the Slacks are doing a great job of forechecking. Puck is tied up in the Moncton defender's skates. Centering pass by Jenna Beaton doesn't find anybody. And Moncton able to get to puck to the line and not out. Here's a shot, big save by O'Brien, rebound, Beaton digs for it. And the Moncton defenders come in and say, get away from my goaltender. As another big save by Brooke O'Brien. Keeps this game 2-0 for the Selects. You gotta hand it to those Moncton defenders too, eh? They realize that their goaltender is doing a lot tonight and to help her out a little bit, they're trying to clear the crease as much as possible to keep those select sticks out from under Brooks' pads. Icing waved off on the play as out of her net is Gabby Arsenault. She will leave that for Lily LeBlanc. Selects have a minute and 40 left to go on the power play. Purdy for roughing at 10.43. And that puck flipped right back in on Arsenault. So the Selects now have a power play. And they're able to get the puck in the zone. Behind the net for Olivia Marks. Marks gets the puck again. Walks in front, quick shot as she was trying to pick the top corner. And some more pushing and shoving in front of O'Brien. And we're going to get a couple of coincidentals now for roughing. As two more players are going off to the box for the Rocket. I didn't see the number. But for the selects, it is going to be Kendall Doyrin. Penalties coming at 10.55. Doyrin for roughing for the selects, and we'll get that number for the Rocket in just a moment. Making sure the uh, doors are closed before the puck is dropped, and the penalties are on the board. As they were coincidentals, they don't need to put them on the clock. So we will drop the puck. Still a power play as that was coincidentals. One minute and three seconds left to go as Sarah Frazier goes D to D. That one in between the legs of Karis Ross. And here's an opportunity. Good chance there by Natalie Hebert. The puck just decided to slide a little quicker than she was. And a tie up and the selects will carry it out with 41 seconds left to go in their power play. Two nothing lead, 8.32 left to go in the third. Selects now behind the rocket net, a couple players collide. Here's Olivia Marks trying to wrap around, centering pass, doesn't get to anybody. Back to the blue line for Frazier, Frazier down low. 
Puck to Brooke Thompson. Brooke Thompson tries to get it back to the blue line for Sarah Fraser. She does. Fraser tries to pass it to Thompson. That one off the leg of Emily Bootlier. And back out in the neutral zone. Here's Thompson again. Brooke Thompson with a shot. That one saved by O'Brien. Rebound cleared behind the net. Selects. Power play over. Puck is shot down the ice there. That will not be an icing call. As a couple of players give chase, good move to muscle the defender off the puck by Carolyn Gallant, who was in for Moncton on the play. Bree McPherson turning around. McPherson stops, starts, waits, gets to the center ice area and will dump that puck back in. Seven minutes and 25 left to go in the third period. It's 2-0 for the Northern Subway Selects. As the puck is sent back to the blue line, held in there by the Selects. Great effort, but it is turned over and Moncton will regain possession for a moment. Back to the blue line for McPherson. We're going to have a penalty on the play as behind it, a tripping call, and Aaron McNeil is going to go to the box. So out of all that, we're going to have a power play now for Moncton. A good opportunity to get back into this game with 7.09 left to go in the third. 12.51 the time of the penalty. Aaron McNeil for tripping. Nobody has been successful yet on the power play tonight on either end of the ice. However, if you want to flip that around, the penalty kills have been perfect. <laughs> Face off to Richard. Richard goes D to D. Pass back to Richard, that one intercepted. And an opportunity coming out here. Brooke Williams now. Williams tries to poke that puck into the zone. Great defensive play by Bridget Hughes, who was back in time to break up that pass. And now we have a face off. Those coincidental minors are done. Back to the benches are Lola Bootlier and Kendall Doiron. And a good side for both teams. Of course, Dorian is a big goal scorer and Bootlier is a great defender. Puck now shot back in deep by the Selects as Moncton still has 136 left to go in their power play. Puck to the blue line held in again by Brooke Williams. Not letting Moncton get out of their own zone on this power play. Here comes Cormier. Cormier over the blue line, stops, waits. Cormier looking for a lane, fires it to Richard. Richard taps it in deep. Great play there in the corner by Josie Dunn who was able to clear the puck down the ice. Killing more time off this Moncton power play. Just one minute left, 6.08 left to go in the third period. Moncton needs two goals to tie. That pass is intercepted and just slapped in there by Ellie Clark. Puck down the boards, picked up again by the selects and fired in. That was Lacey Boyd with a nice play. In the corner is Ellie Clark. Holding the puck, killing time. 32 seconds left to go in the power play. The power play that is for Moncton and now it's over. And you saw that clear as day as Julia Cormier took down Ellie Clark and Cormier will now sit for two. 14.25 time of the penalty. Julia Cormier for tripping. Two seconds of four on four hockey. And then Aaron McNeil will come out of the box as we need to set these penalties up properly. And that is why there is a delay. Only two seconds on the penalty clock for that tripping call. Very easy to reset, of course. It's a lot of button pushing is what it is. So you got to hit reset and then clock and then penalty and then two. There we go. Now it's up on the board. So sorry, pardon me, 26 seconds of four on four hockey. And then the selects will have a power play as Richard has it behind her own net. Richard circles back, tries to make space, but is pressured there quick by Kendall Doiron, who takes the puck away. Kendall Doiron turns back behind the net. 
Doiron back to the blue line. Sarah Frazier. Frazier back. Shot there by the backhand. That one saved by O'Brien, and the puck just goes to the corner. Nice saucer pass to the blue line. There's a shot in the traffic. Nice tip by Brooke Thompson. But O'Brien makes a save. Penalty is over. The select's on a power play now for one minute and 20 seconds. And that puck will slide through everything. Brooke Thompson with it now. Back to the blue line. McPherson. D to D to Frazier. Frazier back to Thompson. Thompson can't pull the trigger. Fires it to McPherson. Back to Thompson. Thompson over to Frazier. Frazier walks in, shoots. Big save by O'Brien as she deflects the puck up and out of play, giving her defenders a little chance to rest. 59 seconds left to go in the power play. 4.34 left to go in the game. Face-off one there by Moncton. And they have possession of it. Fires it right back down the ice. And that'll be picked up there by the Selects. Selects slow and getting it out of their zone. Nice pass there to Olivia Marks. Marks over the blue line, curling back. Creating time and space to allow her team to set up. That pass bumped off there by... Number four, Carolyn Gallant, and that one goes back to the blue line. 25 seconds left to go in the power play. Nice pass. Here's an opportunity for the selects. That shot high and wide as cutting in there was Aaron McNeil. Behind the net, Kenzie Greencorn. Back to LeBlanc, LeBlanc fires that wide. McDonald has it now. McDonald and Greencorn have been all over the ice tonight. There's a pass, McDonald with a shot. Big save by O'Brien who knew exactly where that puck was going and gloved it quick. O'Brien's 39th save of the night. As she is carving out a pretty wicked stat line for herself here at the Wellness Center. Shots 41 to nine, 3.35 left to go in the third. Here's a pass back, shot off the shin pad there of Emily Bootlier. And Arsenault will play that to LeBlanc. LeBlanc back behind the net to Karis Ross. Pardon me, that's Josie Dunn. Back to LeBlanc. Lily makes a nice play on the boards. Pass out front, just misses her target and that'll be icing on the play. Power play is over, we are back to five on five and Moncton now will have a chance at a draw in the select zone. Shots this period. 15 to two in favor of the selects. Face off one by Moncton, that shot goes through traffic, another shot and Arsenal makes a save as Melanie Richard came tumbling through the crease looking for the puck. Face off to the right of Arsenault. One by Moncton, Richard has it. Curling back. Richard, nice pass down to the corner, she gets it back. Richard looking for the shot, she takes it, deflected in front wide of the net, and picked up there by the Selects. Greencorn tried to pass it ahead, that one doesn't reach the intended target, and then a pass for McNeil gets intercepted. Sarah Frazier makes a nice play, breaking up that opportunity as she goes down. 2.30 left to go in the period. 2-0 selects lead. Buck is back in the Moncton zone, but they'll able to take it out quickly as Melanie Richard makes a pass to Groundwater who can't control it. Here's an opportunity again. It's Aaron McNeil with speed. McNeil takes the shot. That one goes off a skate or a stick and out of play. 2.12 left to go in the third. Selects have a 2-0 lead. So that goal was scored by Sarah Frazier. My apologies, I announced it as Ellie Clark. The official score sheet just came in. So congratulations to Sarah Frazier on scoring her first goal of the year. 
McPherson now with it. McPherson will fire that off the boards to the winger. I believe that is Williams who leaves it there for Clark who bats it off the wall and Moncton will recover. Big check in the corner there as McPherson lays a huge check. And that puck will just roll into the pads. And a nice save there by O'Brien. Brooke O'Brien making an incredible statement tonight with her 40th save. Face off to her left. Won by the selects. Here's a shot by McPherson and again O'Brien flashes the glove and makes a nice save. McPherson must have at least 10 of those shots tonight. Every time it seems like she has the puck at the blue line, she fires it and every time it creates a scoring chance. Moncton does win the draw, however, the forecheck of the selects able to keep it in the zone momentarily, however, as it bounces off the stick of Karis Ross. Frazier tries to drop that for Ross, intercepted there by Groundwater momentarily, but McPherson back to get it. Goaltender is gone for Moncton, but the selects have possession. Kendall Doran tries to dance around everybody, Here's an opportunity for an empty net. Great play there by Bootlier. As Moncton with the extra skater looking to make something happen. Puck goes back out. Off the boards. Moncton will rip that one into the select zone and give chase. 41 seconds left to go in the third period. Puck rung around the boards. Still in the select zone. There's an opportunity for a pass. Just misses the stick of Aaron McNeil and we'll have an icing call with 30 seconds left to go in this game. Brooke O'Brien has done all she can to keep Moncton in this one, making 41 saves so far. And she will either end the game on the bench or spend a few more seconds there as Moncton has six skaters on the ice and nobody between the pipes on the other end. Timeout called by Moncton right as the puck is dropped. And that is a 30 second timeout. Recap the scoring for you. Selects have two goal scorers. Bree McPherson with the first one, assisted by Julia McDonald and Kenzie Greencorn. Sarah Frazier with the other one on a beautiful breakaway attempt. And no goals for the Moncton Subaru Rockets. However, a slew of penalties, two minutes by Lola Bootlier, Madison Wasilius, Julie Cormier, Alex Purdy, and Jolene Gosselin. However, Alex Purdy has had a very good game on the back end for Moncton, shutting down several scoring opportunities for the Subway Selects. And here we go, timeouts are done. 30 seconds left on the clock. And we will drop the puck to the right of Gabby Arsenault. Gabby Arsenault so far this year have stopped 48 of 52 shots with an incredible 1.16 goals against average. But last year, she had a 0.79 goals against average and a 9.66 save percentage. Face off one, Richard with the shot. That one just misses the net. May have hit the pad of Gabby Arsenault. Moncton still with it. Centering pass, but that one intercepted. Here's a great opportunity. Streaking down the ice in a collision there but it's gonna be picked up by Kenzie Greencorn. However, the Moncton player lifted her stick. Five seconds left to go. The game will end at a two nothing win for the Subway Selects. 
as Moncton unable to get one more shot. And that'll do it. Gabby Arsenault gets her second shutout so far this year. She had seven last year. And the Subway Selects bring this one home 2-0 over the Moncton Subaru Rockets. Three stars of the game. Third star is going to the incredible goaltender for the Moncton Rockets, Brooke O'Brien, who made 41 saves tonight. A lot of them were very difficult saves indeed. And Brooke O'Brien will rock away with the third star. Second star is going to go to Sarah Frazier, who scored that beautiful breakaway goal. She also had a few incredible defensive plays, leading her team to the win from the back end out. And the first star, someone who frequently finds herself on the same line as Sarah Frazier, especially on the power play, Bree McPherson, who ends the weekend with one goal yesterday and another goal today. Thank you very much for joining us on AOTV for this MMFHL Under-18 hockey game. The Northern Subway selects with goals from Bree McPherson and Sarah Fraser take a 2-0 win over the East Moncton Subaru Rockets here at the Wellness Center. We have a couple more games coming up today if you want to check them out at AOTV. A game coming up at 4 o'clock. It's the Under-15 Majors. The Rangers taking on the Werewell Bombers. And the late game at 6 o'clock, a battle for first place in the under-18 MHL. The Halifax McDonald's taking on the week's majors. We wish you nothing but the best. Hope you have a great afternoon and an even better weekend. Happy Halloween. Take care.